How's it going everybody? I'm the AR guy and I've got a tabletop unboxing here for you today. Uh, now this one's theme is just keeping it under control. Uh, this one is going towards my, I guess I would quote it as best I could, it would be a Space Force only because of the lower receiver. Uh, Space Force build. Um, so I gotta kinda try and envision what that would look like. Um, Cobalt Kinetics does have a beautiful example of what I would consider something that does look like it would be used in a Space Force, to, um, especially for like an AR platform. So let's just go ahead and get this thing opened up and uh, take a look at what I'm talking about. Um, this is just a dull blade <laughs> utility knife. All right, let's see what we have here. Perfect. Get rid of that. All right, this is a three-part break. I'm not real sure on the manufacturer of this one. Um, I'm not expecting anything major in terms of results uh, because it doesn't have a name brand attached to it. So you never know what you're gonna get when you purchase something on a special. I believe this was like 30 bucks. And uh, let me show you what my idea was. Um, I may replace it with something else, but here's my initial idea. Let me go ahead and uh, skip to that real quick. So this is my Hornet's Nest fluted barrel from the earlier video. I'll just go ahead and link that right here. And uh, my idea was, since I'm going with the quote, I guess, Space Force theme, uh, the plan was to go with full-on stainless steel barrel uh, with the stainless steel uh, muzzle brake. Um, so the plan, I guess you can say, would be, how do I say this? Push that down. I do have white lithium grease on the end here. Uh, there is some debate of whether or not you should just add white lithium grease or aeroshell grease. Um, I don't really care either way. To me, it's fine. All right, so let's see how that's going to look real quick. That <laughs> focus, that doesn't look too bad at all. My goodness. Ooh. So I'm I'm fairly pleased with that. Um let me get autofocus going. There we go. Sorry about that. So what do you guys think about that? Um I think they're obviously the crush washer, you know, whatever, but <clears throat> I just wanted to take a look at it and see how it's gonna look. Uh this was just an initial thought to see what this be something I would be interested in and uh, you know three part break hopefully this would do the job I mean it does look really nice I, I'm not gonna lie I do like the way it looks um, a tanker break was kind of the the idea um, along with well let's just say I'm thinking of a larger than normal rail in terms of length so we'll talk about that next time i just wanted to do a quick intro and show you how this was going to look how it's going to be going on the so i guess you can say <laughs> space force space force lower rifle so 18 inch i think it's going to look good so far things are coming together uh the red is not necessarily uh going to be the theme this is basically just something I had left over, just a mock-up to see what it would look like with the Sotlon stock. Uh, like I said, this is not gonna be a final design. I may not even keep this stock set up and may just keep this lower, this entire thing, whoa, this entire thing for something else. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below and I'm just gonna go ahead and end this here. And uh, we'll take a look at this in the future and see what's gonna become of this build and um, well, we'll just go from there. So until then, um, go ahead and check out that video if you haven't already done so. If you'd be so kind, check out that one as well. As always, I am the AR Guy. Build your gun, stand your ground, defend your rights, and I'll see you in the next one.